It's a very fine morning for a garden wittering, isn't it? With exception to the passing traffic on the busy road. Although this is a quiet time, I often find between 11 and noon it's not so bad everyone's away doing the business. And most deliveries have come and gone. And there's a, a later surge. You get used to these sort of things, you see. A bit more colour. I need to cut back those uh, sedum from what last awesome. I don't bother about this just now. It comes out in poppies and stuff, but um, there's a bit more colour happening. Been busy. I've just walked back from Creef. So we're coming around the back garden here. I've been washing all my. Um, well, they're dry, aren't they? They've been out overnight. Yes, these are all. Because I cleaned all my windows and stuff, you see. These are all boil washed. Dusters and everything like that. I need to reconstruct my garden bench. It's got a bit uh, under the weather. So I acquired some of that wood. And I need some of this. Uh, I'm going to, going to start it from scratch and I'll build it and put it in the uh, the pointed place in here, you see. So I was doing a little tidy up here yesterday just to get some movement and uh, this is a lemon bam, you see. It's a bit smothered actually at the moment, it'll start to come up quite quickly. That's not lemon bam, that's a, a buttercup leaf. But um, this lemon balm is uh, absolutely lovely. It's an antiseptic. And I highly recommend if you've got any spots of pimples, you know, drink some lemon balm juice. It should uh, shake away your spots and pimples. I was just talking about the fairies bringing things to my garden. Well, look. I talked about cleavers last week. Well, look. There's tons of cleavers come into this patch, the sticky willy, and this is very, very good for you. And uh, so it's a very quiet part of the garden, this lovely bluebells. I haven't mowed the lawn, I, I try to cut the lawn only twice in the season. I leave it until perhaps the end of June before I give it its first cut. I don't see the point to keep cutting your grass, it's just stupid. The more you cut it, the more it grows. Common sense. Yes, people get really uh, uptight about having immaculate lawns. I don't. I've never really bought into that idea. Of having a completely weed-free, you know, green lawn. I mean, it does look more attractive. But it's, it's certainly a start for OCD, that type of behaviour. I planted this um, little sapling which came to my garden several years back. And uh, it was tiny, about this size. I noticed it. It's Scots pine. So I put it here and it's quite happy. It's quite happy here. And there's a sycamore, a beautiful sycamore this, absolutely gorgeous. You can see already there's far too many uh, bluebells, so they have to be moved away I'm afraid. I don't like doing that. This willow, my willow hedge is a problem because the, the suckers from the uh, willow roots take, go everywhere. This is a very, very gorgeous peony rose. So it comes out in a beautiful, beautiful red flower. Only lasts a very short time in the peony rose, but they're absolutely gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. So, as you can see, it's not... Uh, when I came into this garden, um, <clears throat> it was a complete disaster. There's nothing here. Eight foot high, and roseby willow herb, and nettle, and 
Goodness knows it was a disaster, absolute disaster. It's, um, I mean, I put in all this hedging, all this hawthorn and hazel, and uh, the dog with rose here comes out a very, very bonny pink. But uh, it takes a lot of work to keep, keep putting them back, and this is elder. But I never take the berries from the elder here, I leave that for the birds. I've got my other sources for elders. And um, I've just uh, got some docking leaves. These are edible. These are beautiful. Don't leave them too late, otherwise they um, become very, very rough, very chewy. If you catch them early, like these ones here, I'll pick this one. This is this is edible. Chuck it on a salad or something. But, uh, and there's some beautiful primula just uh, in the background. You see them? Beautiful faces. Look at this. But... Hello. Hello, Bobo. I love tulip. My grandmother loved tulips. She had lots and lots of flowers in her garden, my grandmother. Especially dahlias. She used to have to lift them every single autumn and then replant them after the, f the last frost had dis dissipated. She worked very well right into her 80s. She loved her garden, and she was always talking about the fairies. Always talking about things like that to me. She always told me to praise the fairies, not to be frightened of them. Because the fairies were very, very... She, she says they were visible. Visible only to those who, uh, well, in some sense, were uh, special to the fairies. Understand? So there's a lot of work to be done in this garden if I wanted to, but I, I tend just to leave it to its own devices. But that uh, chair will have to be uh, redone, I'm afraid. My garden seat that I built from scratch is, is, is a bit ancient now and needs to be redone, so I'll do that over the next, well, perhaps next week, I don't know. Well, it's been nice to see you, Sandy, and uh, enjoy yourself up there in Petercairn. <laughs>